Okay, so now we're in Nuke, and let's deal with the same issue with patch projections. So in Nuke, it's actually even more simpler. It's uh, pretty much exactly what you see is what you get. Um, so just remember that in Nuke, we're actually saving alphas with our images, which is also convenient instead of having to double up um, alpha with image like we do in Maya. So here you can see there's the sky. It's not completing to the end of our frame range, so we have that gap. And basically what you want to do is you, you know, tab, create a new camera. There's a camera. And then, you know, since you know you're taking from this, basically you could duplicate all three of these nodes, which, you know, if I zoom in, it's basically all you care about is a read node, a pre-molt, and a projection node. So if I control C, control V, and then basically hook up the camera to this camera, double click the camera, file. Now I've already exported out an FBX uh, camera from Maya, which we've you know done before. So basically, you know, if you go to Maya, the camera that we're using on this instance is ProjCam 3, right here, ProjCam. Literally select it, file, export selection, have the FBX uh, file type extension name it ProjCam3, go back into Nuke, basically, and find that camera right here, ProjCam3 FBX. You want to open it, you want to update the camera data, so now you can see, and you know, you can even call this ProjCam3. Now the FBX file will intrinsically have the name, but at least in Nuke, now you'll see ProjCam3. Uh, now you want to replace the read node with the sky extension that we did. So I've saved into my layers, breakout layers, and if you go into Nuke, uh, actually i got to go a little further back. I have two sets of these. Photoshop Castle, Photoshop Breakout Layers, scroll down, there's my Nuke folder. And you can see down here I have a 2K sky patch merge Nuke one that I called. So this has the alpha with it open. Now you won't notice it quite at first, but if we go to view this, we hit select it and select one, and then if we hit A to toggle between alpha, you'll see there's the alpha for that element. Uh, Primo projection, so if I hit one down here, you'll actually view it as with the alpha, and the projection camera is projecting through there. So what you really need to do now is you'll move these guys over, you know, select them, so we want to have this patch go with this portion of the sky. And really, all that you care about is if you select the projection, hit Tab, and you just do Merge, and you want to merge material. So here you have a merge material. It gives you an A and a B. Basically, you can plug in the B side of it, and then now have it read through the Geo, and then hit 1. Uh, actually on the merge itself, hit one, and it looks good. And if anything looks wrong in this in terms of how the A and the B behave, basically you want the patch over the main source. Oops, I just disconnected. So if it looks wrong, if you didn't plug the A and the B correctly, you can just shift X, and then you'll see how it looks. So right now you can see that my patch is actually the back so we want to just like shift X back and then now if you want to view down from here hit one we're at that frame and you can see now the patch is working that's really you know all that it is is basically you find a frame where you want to patch from you paint that element out make sure your alpha is masking only the area that you painted and then you go from here now you can see our water line doesn't continue. Um, my background mountain doesn't continue. Now this is the same area where we're having that problem. So we could still use this proj cam and just add patches for those three elements. And you know, a lot of times you can do this for even like a long camera move. You just keep adding patches wherever your main projection falters. Uh, and that's it. So the main thing to remember, it's a merge material. Thank you.